Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. <clears throat> so in this video, I'm going to upgrade my SCCM configuration manager to version 2002. So if you look at my sites over here, the build, the build number is 8910. This is 1910. And if I look at the um, about configuration manager, it's going to tell me version 1910, console versions is 1910. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to upgrade by going to administrations and under administration, go to up, updates and servicing. As you can see, the 19, uh, 2002 is now available and ready to install. I don't need the hotfix here, so I'm just going to skip the 1910 hotfix. I'm going straight to 2002. So I'm going to install by clicking on the uh, 2002 and right click. You can run the prerequisite checks or you can install the update pack. So before you do any installation on your SCCM server, I recommend that you initiate a backup or initiate a SQL backup. You want to make sure your database has been backed up. It's just a precautions. You don't want your, um, if something go wrong, you'd be out of luck. So I recommend to initiate a SCCM backup or a SQL backup. So now let's get started. I'm going to right click and then click on install update pack. So it's telling me here, the, this version includes configuration and site updates, console updates, client updates, and also fix for known issues and new features. So I'm going to, you can ignore the prerequisite checks if you already ran the prerequisite checks. I'm just going to ignore the prerequisite checks since this is my lab. If it breaks, I can always rebuild it. I'm going to click next. Here's the features included in this update pack. If you can see here, Azure Active Directory using group discovery, synchronization collection, Azure Active Directory groups. So if you want to install these features, if you are integrating your configuration manager with Azure, then you probably have to check these two boxes. Cloud enables your data discovery by end user discovery group in Azure Active Directory. I'm going to check it since um, I'm probably going to enable the hybrid later in the future. Click next. You can choose upgrade without validating or you can choose validate prerequisite collections. I'm going to choose upgrade without validating accept license and agreement software assurance I'm gonna leave that as default click next and next now the installation has been initiated or the upgrade has been initiated I'm going to refresh this screen as you can see it changed to install you can view the status by clicking on the show status here. So nothing shows up yet. It's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back. All right. As you can see, um, the update came up. I'm going to right click and then go into show status. So here's the detail of the installation. So as you can see here, download has been completed. Now it's replicating. It's doing replications. 
once replication is done it's going to do a prerequisite checks installation and post installations so now let's pause the video and wait until it gets to the end all right look like the um the installation has completed the update has completed and if you look at the post install i rebooted the machine also um, so it's all green i mean it's 100 percent success and if you look under monitoring and update service there's 2002 has been installed and also there's a hotfix available that i can install after Let's look at my SCCM console. SCCM console, I installed it or updated to 2002 as well. Some of my clients should have been already upgraded. Let's take a look at the client. Oops, device. Client versions. So none of my client has been updated except the SCCM site servers itself. So probably in a few hours, um, the client will be get updated. So that's it. That's how you update SCCM or Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager 2002. Thank you for watching and have a great day.